die someday, sometime. Heart failure at the bank. Choke on a mint. Some long drawn out disease you contracted on vacation. You will die. You will absolutely die. Even if you avoid this death, another will find you. And I guarantee that it won't be nearly as poetic or meaningful as what she's written. I'm sorry, but it's... It's the nature of all tragedies, Harold. The hero dies, but the story lives on forever.
What is it about Sam that scares you? Yeah, he flies off the handle. I see it now. I see what Tess was talking about. sent her over a hundred video messages. Where did those messages go? Did they ever reach her? Sam, I can only account for the curse on the base. What about the messages she sent to me? Sam, I can only account for the curse on the base.
We've become bored with watching actors give us phony emotions. We're tired of pyrotechnics and special effects. While the world he inhabits is, in some respects, counterfeit, there's nothing fake about Truman himself. No scripts, no cue cards. It isn't always Shakespeare, but it's genuine. It's a life.
sometimes I don't. If I like a moment, I mean me, personally, I don't like to have the distraction of the camera. I just want to stay. Shines bright, someday shines not. You're left alone, asking God. You could not say a word, not say goodbye. You're only left with the tears in your.
That's it. Hold on. Boom. Baby. Hmm? I got, I, I got, well, I didn't make it, but I got us a song. You know, like our song that would just be for you and me. Because everybody's got songs, but they're lame, and they all share them. You know, it's disgusting. Not us. We have our own song. What is it? Do you want to listen to it?
And honestly, being an animal activist can be really hard because every year, 100 billion, over 100 billion animals are killed by and for humans. It's a billion with a B. So it's challenging. But on the other hand, being an animal activist is kind of easy. Because all I have to do is remind people of what they already know and remind people of what they already feel. So I assume everyone here, except for the sociopaths, has had that experience of like bonding with a cat or bonding with a dog and feeling that heart expanding love. And of course, I mean, as I've been doing this for a long time, I've learned many things that have sort of reinforced my animal activism. Um, the fact that animal agriculture is the second leading cause of climate change, that 75% of antibiotic resistance, the plague that awaits us all, is a result of animal agriculture. Because the animals on factory farms are treated so badly and they're so sick, the only thing keeping them alive are mega doses of antibiotics. The role of animal agriculture in cancer, diabetes, heart disease, Alzheimer, obesity, the fact that 90% of rainforest deforestation is attributable to animal agriculture. 50% of ocean acidification comes from animal agriculture. So all of these facts sort of strengthen and buttress my activism. But at the end of the day, what sustains me as an activist is love. The unconditional love I had for all the animals I grew up with, the unconditional love I have for all animals. And I think that's the best part of who I am, that selflessness and love and patience and kindness. And I think it's the best part of who we are.